Hello, it's Jane Wright. I'm going to be talking about how to treat one's pain. This is soul pain. It's not physical pain. And the reason why this is really, really important, uh, there's probably several reasons it's very important, is that we all are, what, what is pain? Anytime we have a situation that is less than ideal for us, as individuals, or less than ideal for the world, or less than ideal for ideals, <laughs> that we, we, you know, the natural response is, is pain. And, you know, life is just, we're surrounded by pain. If we were able to take a look spiritually into a person's organism, we would see that there's just so, so very much pain. And, you know, what ends up happening with, if we don't catch things on that first bounce and treat ourselves for pain, then that pain metamorphoses into fear and then anger. You know, and anger, the, the violence of, of anger, you know, is destructive for our own organism, those people around us, and actually for the for the world. And so, you know, man, to catch our anger uh, before it manifests, we need to be mindful of that. Whoa, you know, I'm in pain here, and people don't mean to hurt each other. They're just not so conscious uh, of each other. And what what really ends up happening is that, yeah, we've wa we've been through many incarnations with each other. We're not capable of, of um, recognizing someone who has walked many, many miles by our sides in the past. And so it's a kind of a setup from the beginning that, well, if I don't seem to act out of recognition of you, knowing who you are and, and acting as if I know who you are, then the natural response is going to be pain. And so we just have to assume pain is everywhere for the, for the modern person because we're not there yet. But to also catch things before they manifest into anger is very important. If we have too many imprints, like every time our soul feels, uh, there's an imprint placed in the physical and etheric body sometimes even into the astral body. When we get enough imprints of physical, uh, of soul pain, rather, excuse me, uh, when, that, when a certain level has been crossed with that, it has an effect on us. And the main way that I see it having an effect on people these days is that it generates an autonomic dysfunction. And this autonomic dysfunction makes our bodies still make the dopamine that is made in the substantia nigra in the brainstem, but it's not being released. That's what this, this autonomic dysfunction that triggers off with pain is. And so we get a diagnosis of, uh, of Parkinson's disease when there's no, um, when, when the level of pain has gotten too high. So it's an important thing to work with our pain anyway because it's one of the ways that we free ourselves from the sort of automaticness of behavior, life, as we go on. So how do you do that? There's a sphere that you need to grasp. It's, it's again at the, the breastbone here, but it's two and a half body inches. A body inch is that width of the first digit of the thumb. So it's two and a half of these. You, you, and you have to grasp it like this. And then you're going to project that to through the body to the front of the tailbone. Now I'm touching the back of the tailbone right now, but it's this side of the tailbone that I'm aiming to, right next to the rectum. And then you place your hand on your body and imagine your whole body underneath it. There's layers and layers and layers and layers of soul pain that have been imprinted into anybody who's you know, more than five years old. Um, and so the, the uppermost layer of pain is what will be treated first, and then the subsequent layers. 
And so what you do is you have your other hand on your whole body. You're aiming to this front of the tailbone. And then you can actually speed up the process a little bit by going through events in one's life that were painful, you know, thinking them over, recapitulating them. Or you can just work with whatever comes up from the past first. And certainly, if something is painful to you in the moment, the quicker you treat it, the better. So oftentimes, people working with groups of people, uh, it's often one bit of soul pain after the other. So to keep up with that, so that you can not just uh, withdraw from the board or the, the group of people you're working with, it behooves to stay up with it uh, in the moment, stay current. And you can you can work with this for hours and hours, the average person. But, you know, to be, um, you know, moderate, probably five minutes a day. Certainly, if you've already developed Parkinson's, uh, you would be good to, if you have the time, to spend a half hour a day. And there's, it still will take some time to work that through. 